This is what us tall people have to go through on a daily basis. It fucking sucks! Hey guys, Pat Keebler here for Would You Spend a Day with Tim Allen Y. Sabota, back at it again with another CD collection update for you guys. Um, I'm actually trying to um, do a little change up, so now I'm actually recording in my actual bedroom as opposed to lying on my couch, which for me kind of seems like a better idea because um, the couch is kind of low, so it's kind of hard to like adjust the mic or just the um, camera really sometimes. But. Uh, but I thought I'd give it a change, and so far it looks really good. Um, there's a lot of reverb in here, but that's the audio engineer part guy and me. But anyway, so got three more albums for you guys this month. Um, as you can tell, they're all Ramones albums. And like, I'm just like Ramoning it up. Like, there's the poster in the background. I'm wearing like the shirt, and just. <sighs> it's just like, what? I don't know. That face, though. So. But anyway, so yeah, I got um, three uh, Ramones CDs here for you guys, and so far I just need two more, then I have all the Ramones albums, so yay! Not sure if you can see my thumbs, but I'm going yay! Okay. Anyway, so first one I have for you guys is Animal Boy, and this is kind of a very, um, how do I put it, it's a very 80s sounding um, album. And what I mean by that is it there's like a lot of reverb on it. There's um, a lot more synths on it, or synths, synths. Can I say that right? Synths, I should say. But yeah, it yeah. There's like a that a lot of reverb on it, and kind of just sounds like it was like recorded in like a castle, really. So and the songs um, themselves kind of kind of like take like a left turn from a lot of their previous albums that they released before this so this is kind of more of an experimental album I guess which isn't really a bad thing but I'm not really a big fan of it or of this album in particular I mean experimental albums I really like well some but not this one in particular like the only song I would really say that I like is somebody put something in my drink or Probably, where was it? Uh, oh, yeah, Crummy Stuff. Which I don't get why they just didn't say shitty stuff. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm not one to judge their technical whatever. And, actually, if I'm correct, this is actually when they had um, Elvis Ramon, I think, as one of the Ramones. I will double check. Uh, or, no, not Elvis Ramon, sorry. Uh, Richie Ramon, actually. So, yeah. Uh, I think this is uh, right around the time where uh, Marky Ramon left. Um, I think so that, I mean, their last album with them, I believe, would be Too Tough to Die, I think? Um, either that or Subterranean Jungle. I'll have to look it up later. But, anyway. Um, anyway, all in all, not really my favorite album, but it's okay. It's got a couple songs. And then, uh, next album I got for you guys is, uh, let's see, Halfway to Sanity. I forgot the title for a second. I guess you could also look at the spine because it's easier to read like that. But, yeah, so again, it's kind of a little bit experimental, but not as experimental as Animal Boy. But, so it kind of goes back to the punk roots that they originally had. And, but at the same time, it's... Um, there's like a few songs that have like some synths and some reverb. It, there, it's not, it doesn't have as much reverb as their last album, but it still sounds really reverberated and very, again, 80s sounding, which was really popular back in the day. I mean, not that I would know. <laughs> or maybe I do, you don't know. You don't know how old I am. Uh, you probably do. <laughs> but anyway, um, not sure where I really stand on this album. There's a couple songs I really like, like, um... Uh, I'm Not Jesus, um, Weasel Face, and what was the other one? Um, Death of Me. Um, really like those songs. Um, everything else, and oh, and uh, Word Man, forgot about that, sorry. Um, everything else, not really too big of a fan of. And oh, but um, so yeah, this album actually has the times on them or how long the uh, songs are, so. So yeah, pretty much all their songs are like two and a half minutes at most, but then Bye Bye Baby, that's like four and a half minutes. So yeah, pretty much everything else is like 
two to two and a half minutes. And then, well, except for Weasel Phase, um, where Mana and Lost of Mind, those are both um, under two minutes. But either way, um, um, I have to say, I think this is actually a pretty good album. Um, don't really, um, uh, not really a big, again, I'm not really a big fan of like the songs that actually, oh, ah, uh, oh, you guys hear that? Ah, uh, the CD squeaks. It's like, that's like one of the things that like, just like makes me just like, um, like, like, because my teeth, like it makes me cringe a little bit. It just sounds like, so like, listen to it. Like, like, hold on, like, hold on. Like, you hear that? Oh, God, that just... Ugh, God, that just... Gives me the heebie jeebies But, uh, what was I saying? Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah, um, pretty good album. Not sure if I would really recommend it, but... Um, if you want to take a listen to it, be my guest. Okay. And last, but certainly not least, I have Brain Drain. Now, this is probably going to take my place as my new favorite Ramones album. Well... Probably, but then again, their first album was pretty good. It was pretty decent. But again, um, as far as, um, you know, like evolving as a band over the past, um, over what, they were together almost 20 years, over 20 years, I think. And this, I believe, is their 10th album, I think. But either way, um, I really, really love this album. It's uh, kind of a more darker and more heavier sounding album than uh, a lot of their other stuff. Which is, okay, I thought I said, I thought it's in the pop. So yeah, it's a really darker sounding album, which I really, really like. Um, for instance, like, um, when I first, like, I first listened to Believe in Miracles, and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna like this. <laughs> yeah, and then I, yeah, and then, uh, Zero Zero UFO, uh, Punishment Fits the Grime, uh, Fits the Grime, Crime, sorry. And, yeah, and Pet Cemetery, uh, Palisades Mark, or Mark. What is with me in the letter M? God. Um, and yeah, I can't really just pick like one song of this album that I love. It's I just love it. So, love all the al songs so much. It's really good album. It's really darker, really heavier sounding. Again, I love it. I would definitely, 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 definitely recommend this. Um. Was this with... Sorry, I'm also um, checking to see if this is also with uh, Sir Records. Uh, yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Yeah, I don't think it says on the CD, but... Or maybe it does. Oh, yeah, it does. But, yeah. Um, would really... Definitely would recommend this album um, to anyone who, you know, just really likes more darker... And the... And the little thing fell out. But anyway, that's all the CDs that I have for you guys this month. Uh, if you have any other CD ideas or album ideas that you think I should listen to, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure to like the video, and don't forget to subscribe. And once again, I'm Pat Keebler for Why Sabota. Bye!